Hi, this is Shadi. Recently, Judo Highlights made a video about possible rule set for the 2025 that was done uh, in the Abu Dhabi as a conference. And he discussed some new details. They're somewhat different than the Japanese rule set. The Japanese rule set is far more simple and you can do a little bit more apparently. And I am here today to tell you that from IJF coaches and coaches who have had their athletes medal in the last Olympic Games, I can tell you that apparently it might be very true. But before that, please don't forget to check out my new book, The Origins and History of Judo, a manuscript from 1903, translated to English, French, and modern Japanese. Links will be below. Just go to your Amazon's country and choose it from there. So according to Judo Highlight and the IGF coaches, um, it looked a lot like the rule set from 2010 to 2012, meaning you cannot go directly uh, to the leg, one arm or both arm. You, you cannot, not like the Japanese rule set. However, it's not Hansokumake. Hansokumake, for those of you who don't know, it's just instant elimination. So it's not going to be this way. It's going to be just one penalty. However, what you can do is uh, either through a series of attacks, for example, an inner reap followed by uh, a leg grab from the outside or on the ankle. Uh, that seems to be the consensus. Uh, or uh, as you are trying to finish your throw, then you can help it a little bit by gripping uh, the leg so um, it's it's not like the Japanese one but it's a step forward so for example here the opponent is clearly off balance and they're just ready to go and you need that tiny little bit of a push then the leg grab is uh, allowed but not directly you just pull and grab the leg you cannot do that you have to do most of the throw just like we do it now and then with a little bit of a push that's how you finish it uh, that's apparently according to the uh, IJF uh, coach and of course this just to confirms the what judo highlight said in his last video so another example here is the Ochigari and Kochi let's see them again so you drop you drive them just as you finish you get a hold of the leg here it's very uh, similar. So uh, also another one is uh, from what I see is a counter. So as a Kaishi Waza, uh, that's also very good in my opinion. That's actually really good because people with weak grips, they just do whatever attack in order to get uh, to look like they're doing something and they're not being punished whether it is uh, an Uchimata or Harai Goshi, any turn throw. And before you used to roll them, kind of, but I'm glad that doesn't score anymore. But a counter like this for a weak grip is a great uh, punishment. So as a counter to Uchimata, he gripped the leg and rode the throw and countered. That's something I highly encourage because people should not be very reckless with their grips and just attacking uh, for the sake of attacking or for example here as a counter he was going for an inner reap he caught the leg as it was going in and rotated uh, outside that also can work um, so now this one I'm not sure but this used to be in the old rule set so if someone goes for a cross grip down the back you can go directly to the leg so it's a Georgian grip as they call it but uh, in my opinion yes I hope it does come back because it's a very uh, hazardous position you have your whole you know side turned away from them and basically if, if there's one way you can pay for it is this way now in the past it was prohibited to pass your uh, head underneath so it becomes a Georgian grip I don't know about this one, maybe a maximum a Shido, or you have to attack immediately. I'm not entirely sure. So the the coaches are saying it's somewhat like this. I don't know the full details. It was a very short conversation, 
but uh, from what uh, judo highlights have heard also again you have to keep in mind that we have to uh, keep their privacy we cannot just blurt out names so please understand this but we're not talking just to talk or make videos but these are actual credible people that we've heard and of course they didn't just say all the details but from what we've seen this is what it might uh, look like like the 2010 2012 not like the japanese which is just one arm on the legs but you can do anything um, i think the rules behind uh, no two arms uh, in japan is basically the same as the bear hug on the upper body they don't want a bear hug on the lower body but i don't know here if through a combination you can finish with both hands on the legs i hope so for example you drop for an ochi gari and you finish it with a morote gari that would be quite nice actually so that's from what i heard um it's it's not like japan but it's a very big step forward i hope so if you have anything to add let me know down below this was shady and thank you for listening